Now, have you heard of Bumble and Tinder? And did you know that the co-founders or the founders of these dating apps used to date? Huh? Sex in the workplace. Would that get you fired as a founder? Hi, my name is Rachel. I am a startup lawyer. And in this video, we'll be talking about something very trending. First, can you have an affair at your workplace without getting fired? And is it illegal to do so? Second, as a founder, will you get fired for having workplace affairs? And third, startup horror stories that you as a founder should be aware of. Well, you may be surprised to know that having an affair at the workforce is technically not illegal in Singapore because there is no law or regulation that says that you are not allowed to have affairs in the workplace. However, if your startup or your company has implemented workplace policies that mandates that A, workers cannot have relationships, B, workers should behave in a professional manner, you could really find yourself in a situation where you could be dismissed. Now, moving on to our second question on how you could be dismissed. We have heard the story of Oh McDonald's had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, getting fired. So McDonald's CEO got fired for having a consensual relationship with someone in the office. Now, one could wonder, how can you get fired for having a consensual relationship? Because we have heard of people getting fired for sexual harassment or a founder hey. groping someone's butt. My guess is that there was a workplace policy in place that prevented employees from having relationships with other employees. He could have been found to have had multiple relationships with different co-workers which could tarnish the reputation of the company. And in that case, if his employment contract states that, him as a CEO has to behave with certain professional standards that will uphold the name of McDonald's, McDonald's could have suffered a tarnished reputation from that. So for founders who have signed up to a service contract or an employment contract with the company, we really encourage you to look through the provisions on what could get you fired or terminated for cause. In the case of the McDonald's CEO, things were a little bit more severe because A, the company was publicly traded and B, it was disclosed to investors that he was terminated without cause so that he could hold on to shares. When the investors found out, they sued for two things. A, the fact that it was misrepresented to investors why the CEO was fired and B, misrepresentation that he was terminated without cause, i.e. he resigned. So having a workplace affair or relationship could not be as simple as you think. And third, horror stories amongst founders. Now, have you heard of Bumble and Tinder? And did you know that the co-founders or the founders of these dating apps used to date? Huh? The relationships can get rather complicated when there's love mixed with equity, then a little bit of sour spice. You may or may not know that the founder of Bumble, who is a female, used to work in Tinder. And she was having a relationship with the founder of the Tinder app. Along the way, while she was working at Tinder, the relationship soured and they broke up. And according to her, they started throwing derogatory as well as horrible remarks at her, which forced her to want to leave Tinder. Now, in that situation, I as a female could get a little bit annoyed because A, I may have had stocks that were meant to vest, but I was forced to leave ahead of time because I'm unhappy and comfortable with the workplace. And then second, the co-founder of Tinder could have had allegations of sexual harassment marked against him if he was not careful. So from that situation, you would think that, hey, this is something you don't want to get into. And then she then moves out and starts her own company called Bumble, which is obviously really similar to Tinder, but with a little bit of a twist. And then they start suing each other because Tinder claims that Bumble has stolen 
secrets from them and use their ideas to create Bumble. Now, what can you as a founder do if you really want to fall in love with someone in your office? Some founders may choose to have a more open environment in their workforce and they may not want to say that hey you're banned from falling in love with your colleagues but having a clear policy as to a what you should do disclose b ensuring there's no conflict of interest so making sure that the employees know that hey if you're working on different projects which could be sensitive in nature that this information has to be separated from your relationship and third stating clearly where the company stands on dating so, more of the story, fall in love with work, not human beings. I'm just kidding. We hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it, remember to like, share and subscribe and try not to get into a workplace affair.